uh, let's just get right into it. Uh, welcome back to the drawing table where we have chill and casual conversations about art and of course about creating it as well. We are your hosts, Kendar Madi and also Jordan Tuffin. So you guys and might have been... noticed that we've been yeah. missing for the last few weeks. There was supposed to be a stream scheduled last week so it would follow our two week streaming schedule. But there has been other things that has been on our, t- on our plates recently. So maybe you would like to start things off, Ken, by telling the good people in the chat where you've been. Yes, so I was on a trip to Hokkaido, uh, Japan, for um, my wife and I's first anniversary. So there's that. <laughs> so I couldn't do any streaming or, um, yeah, basically very limited access to computer. Mm-hmm. And that's from me. And what about you, Jordan? So pretty much while Ken was out there having fun with his wife and making me jealous with all of the f- pictures of food and all of the places <laughs> that he's been traveling to in Japan, I've been doing something actually that's, I would say, just as fun. Or at least that's what I'm trying to tell myself to not make myself feel as bad and jealous. Is that I was actually at industry workshops um, around three weeks ago. So that was a lot of fun. And I actually got to meet one of the people in the chat today. So mm-hmm. that w- uh, if you could make yourself known <laughs> in the chat who, uh, who I met up with at industry workshops. But yeah, that was a lot of fun just getting to meet a lot of people and catch up with a lot of old friends as well and watch a lot of cool demos. But it was really exhausting yep. though just push yep. putting so, myself out there yeah so we've both been kind of busy and exhausted and so we've decided to just uh, take a, another week break and now we're finally here with a new guest yes uh, would you like to introduce our guest for today oh Jordan? yes it'll be my honor so this guest is currently working for riot games and he is an Indonesian artist from Surabaya that has amassed a respectable list of projects that he has worked on. From Magic the Gathering, Netflix's Love, Death and Robots, to companies such as CD Projekt Red and Blizzard. In his spare time, he can be found drawing endearing and whimsical renditions of his favorite subject of all, animals and creatures. And we will be chatting with him today about his recent experience at Lightbox Expo, an art event that was held in California, which boasted a gathering of some of the biggest and best names in the industry. From meeting his art heroes to opening up a booth, we will be asking him how he makes the most out of his experiences at art events. So without further ado, we would like to bring on our guest, Rudy Siswanto. Hey, hey, hi everyone. It's good to have you on, Rudy. Let me update this. Yes. There we go. Problem with my internet. Well, your webcam seems to be missing now, Ken. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I think it's. I think it's fixed. Hopefully, it's fixed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, there but we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And we've actually been playing around, playing around with the new layout as well. So hopefully you guys like it. So you guys can see what you are typing in the chat. And there's and there's a lot of people that are really excited to have you on today, Koru. Oh yeah, I I saw like uh, many family familiar names like Fuki, Rona, Hi, Hi. Oh, there's an oh, echo, there's an echo uh, actually with Korudi's audio, audio can. Mm-hmm. So, maybe so maybe we can do the same, do the same thing to fix it up. Well, you guys might be wondering why I'm calling Rudy Korudi. And the reason, and the reason behind, behind that, that is that, that in Indonesian, Indonesian culture, culture and similar, and similar to a lot of Asian, Asian cultures, cultures, we... we Use honorifics, use honorifics to speak to, to, speak our, to our elders, and, and Korudi, Korudi to me is, to me is my senior and my senpai. And my senpai. Oh so, man! So out of respect, <laughs> out of respect, <laughs> I call, I, call, I, put, I put a call in, in front of his name. Yeah, I feel so honored. In the same way, if there's, 
<laughs> of course. We're really, We're really grateful, and grateful and honored, and honored to have you on the chat as well, Ko. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and also thank you very much for introdu- introducing me to the audience, guys. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. And and well, well, I think the, I think audience, the audience we don't really we don't have, really to, have to do much introduction for you because a lot of the people, people in the chat, the chat already know, already know your, your works and and what what and the amazing and the amazing projects that you've worked, worked on already. already. But but we figured we that, figured we, that would, we would let some let people some people know that know, might not have heard you just yet. Sorry, I think I need to restart. My computer. Give me five minutes. All right, not, uh-huh. right, not a problem. So I guess. So I guess what first what, thing that first we can start, we can off, start with. off with. So hopefully you guys don't mind the echo for a while. Uh, but uh, but I think I think one thing that, one thing that the, audience the audience might be interested in hearing about is that, mm-hmm. is that how did you actually manage to get invited invited or actually or take part in Lightbox Expo itself? Yeah. So actually, I. I followed Bobby Chiu stream and I followed mm-hmm. everything about Bobby Chiu, Instagram, Facebook and and he announced about Lightbox and when when he opened the the registration so I, I joined I, I registered as a exhibitor. Mm-hmm. 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 It's like one year earlier. I think that he opened it. Mm-hmm. So, so it wasn't an, an exclusive uh, uh, number, of number of people that Bobby Chu that, that, that actually reached out to. Out to. Well, actually, it's not. I mean, I'm yeah. I'm I'm just like actually me and my wife discussing about. Hmm, maybe it, it would be fun if we if I join the 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 event. Lightbox Expo, and then my wife suddenly register my name in the <laughs> on his like that, and I think did she actually register, register your name, your name without, without asking, asking you, or, asking was, you, or was, this was this something that you had, that you had actually discussed? With her actually, I'm I'm discussing with with her, but we we didn't decide yet. But suddenly, <laughs> I see. <laughs> suddenly she she register my name. But yeah. So, what was your reaction to that? Actually, I mean, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm dis- deciding not to, to, uh, register at first because I'm too nervous. I mean, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I don't have any product. I mean, yeah. Oh, uh-huh. right. I mean, that's that's the challenge. To create a product for the event mm-hmm. as big as that, it's mm-hmm. like uh, I'm really scary that time. But after oh, after yeah. my I, wife, I yeah, after my wife uh, register my name, I and she she said that it, it would be okay. I mean, I mm-hmm. I have a lot of artwork anyway that people uh, a lot of people didn't see yet. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah uh-huh. definitely. And yeah, but, uh, uh, from, but what from what I know, you actually, you actually created, created some unique, unique content, content for Lightbox, Lightbox Expo, Expo itself, itself, correct? Oh yeah, the the books. Uh huh. So, actually, it's like a combination of my previous Inktober and mm-hmm. some. Uh, artwork that I made for uh, people that buying my first artwork mix, mm-hmm. and my wife oh, yeah. keep, oh, yes. I keep that. document, keep the document, keep the photograph, mm-hmm. and then she actually she she do all the work. She manage all of my my uh, product. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh-huh. So, so is your wife? your manager of sorts <laughs> because she's the one, the one that's doing this promotion, this promotion for, for you and your putting name your name out there. out there yeah yeah it's sort of yeah mm-hmm. yeah I'm, I'm really grateful for that 
Mm, definitely. Yeah. So, so I, from, I, from what I know as well, you've created some other, some other limited edition merchandise for the Expo, for the Expo, as, well. Expo as well. So was there, so was there some, sort of, some sort of strategy that you had in mind when approaching, approaching to opening, to opening up, a up a booth at Lightbox Expo? Actually, my my previous strategy is making an art book, but it didn't happen because uh, hello, suddenly silent yes. here. Okay, yes, I can yeah, hear you. because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, on my role in Riot, uh, I think it's it's quite busy. Uh, I didn't have like a lot of spare time to work on it mm. yeah I, I just finish like few artwork at, and mm -hmm. I make it a print mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so how do, so you, how do you actually, actually make the time, the time between, between balancing, balancing work and actually, and actually creating, creating all this artwork, artwork as, well? as well it's it's total challenge <laughs> I mean uh, this side of working in as full time in riot i also work a little bit like few illustration as freelance mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can handle i cannot handle a lot now and yeah i allocate I think that's the crazy thing <laughs> i allocate like my weekend sometimes to work on the mm -hmm. on the personal work mm -hmm. oh, i see mm -hmm. Because so that, pretty, so that was pretty much yeah. the only time you could focus. On yeah, on since uh, there there is like a lot of protests going on here, I cannot go out. Oh right. Yeah, in the yes. weekend, so it just I just draw. So in a way, so that, in a way that kind of forced you, forced you uh -huh. Uh -huh. to actually stay at home and really focus on your project. Yeah, like like no excuse. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so, so when you when were you preparing were preparing for Lightbox for Lightbox, mm -hmm. uh, Lightbox Expo, mm -hmm. uh, we were able, uh, we were to, able see to see a list of all of the artists that were that were, going, that were to going to be in attendance of the Expo itself. itself. And from what, and from I, what saw, I saw, it really, it really is, is some of the biggest names in the industries that are actually, that are actually going, there. going there. And, and I was, I was wondering, actually wondering where is there, where is there some, people some people that you're that you're particularly excited to meet at the, meet expo, at the itself? expo itself? Oh man, I think all of my my art heroes is in on that event in that event. <laughs> so like, so who are so some who of the are names then that maybe you can maybe you can drop a few names? Yes, names. Uh, uh, the name like Jason Chan. I've, I've been following his artwork since, since I I learned to, to draw digitally and then oh, yeah, awesome. Claire Wendling mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Terry Whitlash like Thomas Ruarte I know it from from Bobby Chu for podcast mm -hmm. and he's really right. good mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah I'm yeah, a big fan really he's really great at, great at caricatures yeah it's 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 a lot of fanboying there. <laughs> <laughs> so you were you were saying that you were saying actually, that you were actually nervous, nervous mm -hmm. even thinking, thinking about going to going the, to the expo, expo and even and selling, even some, selling goods some goods there. there. So, did the, so did the thought of be, having, be, the having the chance to meet some, some of your art heroes, heroes, heroes make you feel even, feel more, even nervous. more nervous? Yeah, the the first thing why I'm nervous about is communication because uh mm -hmm. you know what i mean english is like a new thing for me this is my very first event outside my country and mm -hmm. i have to speak that the the language that i didn't used to that's that's really yeah. nervous it's really nerve-wracking i even even uh hear youtube about how to introduce yourself like something like that stupid yeah oh, really? yeah because maybe for some people it's easy like it's natural mm -hmm. for them to speak but for yes. some yes. people like few people like me i i don't know what to do i don't know how to speak properly see, like, uh, see. 
Did you, uh, did actually, you actually have, have this problem as well when you were, when you were attending, attending some, of some of the local events in Indonesia? In Indonesia? In local, yes, but but in local event at least, uh, I can speak my language. <laughs> see. <laughs> I see. That is a really uh, big thing actually. Uh, because, I'm because I'm imagining myself, myself let's just, just say I had to go to... to, go to Okay. So, okay. For me, so for me, my Indonesian, my Indonesian isn't, so isn't so fluent. So, I so if I had to go back to Indonesia, to Indonesia and go up and to, go some, up to of some of my art heroes with my broken, with my broken Indonesian, Indonesian, then I definitely, I definitely would feel, would feel <laughs> not, as not as confident in myself, in myself as well. Yeah, but maybe that's that's the same feeling like when when I hear about Lightbox and and oh, I want to, uh, I I will join the this event. So what were some, some of these tips, tips then that you learned, that you learned from the videos that you're watching? That you're watching? Because, I think because I think quite a lot of people in the chat, in the chat and, myself and myself could could benefit, benefit from, from hearing, from hearing it as well. I mean, like how to introduce yourself. I'm I don't actually l- learn English like really proper, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So so some kind of like when when you meet a new people what what should you do like you have mm. to add introduction and then mm-hmm. how to close a conversation like something like that it's, it's just like really basic thing i mean I see, I see. <laughs> Yeah. So what, so, what, so, so do you have, do you have specific, specific tips on, tips on uh, that, you, uh, have that you have learned to actually, to actually help, help you with that? With that? Mm, there is no specific thing, but part of it mm-hmm. is uh, being nice. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, uh, people can can actually feel if you are honest with with yourself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like that. So, so I'm, just so I'm, I'm not learning like really mm-hmm. specific thing. I, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It 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 definitely, it definitely sounds, sounds like general, definitely sounds general, like general advice, advice mm-hmm. but but I do think, I do that, think that even being even being nice, gen- nice like, gen- like genuinely nice. nice to someone, to someone can, can be something that, that slips over, over or goes over, or goes over, over some mind. people's mind because because uh, I'm sure that, I'm sure that you've been on the receiving, receiving end of this Korudi but, but there's some there's people, that, people go that go to you and they already and they have, have uh, an, intention an intention behind it, behind it. Mm-hmm. For, example, mm-hmm. for example there's some people that already know that they want to get a portfolio review from you or maybe they want to apply to the studio that you're working at so they come to you and and you can sort, you can of, sort tell of tell that they're, that they're not as interested, interested in, you as, in you as a person, but it's more about, it's more about how you, you can help them out. Yeah, it's uh, that's the thing about uh, uh, attending the event like this. Like mm-hmm. so many people uh, thinking about building connection. Actually, I'm not uh, to think about that, but what I'm thinking is like making friends with other see, people. I see. Yeah. So mm. I'm there to make friends, not to getting get something. Yes, I have to prepare my my portfolio on my tabs. Mm-hmm. Or or I bring my portfolio, yes. But yes. I think that's not your that's main, not your main yeah, purpose. Yes, right, I think that's someone. that's not my my main purpose to get like oh so so i can mm-hmm. get portfolio review or something if if mm-hmm. they want to see your portfolio i consider it as bonus oh i i'm sorry if, if i'm i'm like looking at this because I, i'm drawing something <laughs> so it helped me to, to focus a... i don't know why mm-hmm. well not a... well, not a... <laughs> i see, uh-huh. I see. Oh, that's perfectly, oh, that's perfectly fine. fine. Oh. Maybe at the, Maybe end, at the can, end you can uh, bring it up, uh, bring close, it up to close to the camera, to the camera so, people so the people can see, can see the people on the chat can see, can see what you've been working on. Oh man, I'm, this is like a lousy drawing, you see? Like this? 
what hey, you what think, you is, think lousy. is lousy to me, <laughs> and I'm sure to a lot of the people in the chat are like mini masterpieces. Mm -hmm. So, so this is this is like the uh, project that me and my wife working on, not not working on. It's like. Mm -hmm. Ritual, so oh, because see. we draw in this small, like sticky thing, we, we didn't think mm -hmm. about details and all stuff. Yeah, uh -huh. and because this is like really small and it's not, uh, I mean, not, not useful, I don't know what, mm -hmm. what the word, but it's like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think, I, I think it's like because it's something you can throw yes. away easily. You're Maybe you're not too precious about your sketch. Mm -hmm. So I draw one, and then my wife drawing one, I, and we stick it on the wall like this. This is my oh yeah. I see. This is my wife drawing something like that. Oh, and, oh that's so yeah. awesome! Yeah, and we we keep we keep drawing and drawing. Yeah, because uh, after after uh, got, got back from from Lightbox, we saw mm -hmm. re a lot of awesome thing, and mm -hmm. suddenly it's like uh, our standard is like increasing. Then when we draw in something, <laughs> it it feels like like shit, <laughs> and then. My wife also <laughs> feels that too, so so that's why. Mm. Let's start with simple thing. That's a really good tip, actually. So how many people in the chat can actually relate to that? That when you, that when you go, go to, an to an art event, you come back, you come back feeling, feeling inspired, inspired, but at the same time, time actually <laughs> feeling kind of crap, kind of crap about, about your own art. Because I because I definitely felt that after, after industry workshops, workshops where. where I, I felt like I, I, felt really, like needed I really needed to step, to my, game step my game up. Yeah, definitely. And it looks like, quite, it looks like quite a few people, people in the chat agree. And, and I, will and I will also take the time, take the time to read a few comments in the chat, in the chat as well because people have, people been, have been patiently, patiently waiting as well. As well. Uh, um, so, so there's a few people that have dropped by the chat that have said hi. And you also, you have, also another have another Jason, Jason Chan, Chan fan in the chat, in the chat well, as well. Call, uh, um, yeah, in Roanna. In <laughs> hi, hi everyone. And, and there's and there's and there's Fafmi as well that has joined the chat as well. Hi Fafmi. <laughs> and he said that the awkward meter is so high when you start conversation with new people or senpai. Yeah, that's definitely. I mean, I'm. <laughs> When starting conversation, it's like, for me, it's like really, really awkward. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But we can start with admiring their mm -hmm. work. Or we can, we even can start with buying, buying the, their work first. <laughs> mm, I yeah. see. Can you actually can you give maybe give some... Maybe some... Actually, uh, actually uh, let's, uh, let's maybe put, maybe it, in put it in this way. Um, are there, are there were, do you have any specific, have any specific instances, instances where you had this artist, artist that, that you really admired and, and how you actually approach them, them using, the strategy, using the strategy you just mentioned? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm not con considering like how to meet people 101, but uh, it's more like, yeah, uh, first, I'm not suddenly introduced my my name, but more like seeing the work because the, uh, there's a lot of people want to meet the artist as well. Like like Jason Chan, he's put always back of people want to meet him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I'm sure. And yeah, I, usually I I wait until until like few people there, and then I came there. So I want to buy he, her, his artwork, mm. like prints and something like that. But at, at first, this is this is happen. I mean, actually, I I don't want to to feel like I give the artist my work and then in in exchange of he is giving me their work. Mm. I don't yes, want that. Yes, yes. But it happened once, 
and then I change it. <laughs> I change my strategy. I buy the artwork first, and then I, oh, then you give. then I give because I I also want to support the artist. Yes, uh, yeah, that's true. I don't want it feels like we we are partnering. Yeah, we we exchange ah, something. Right. Yeah. Especially, Especially if they respect, if they respect you, as you as well as, as, well as an artist, they're most likely going to feel maybe bad, maybe bad about, about taking one of your, one of your artwork yeah. without, uh, without, uh, giving, without any giving anything mm-hmm. back. You know? mm-hmm. That's a pretty, That's a next, pretty level next level strategy, strategy Cole. And, and I think that is a really smart, a really smart way, way of just supporting, supporting the artist, but at the same time giving them a little bit of an extra by giving them giving them one of your own artworks as well. Yeah, maybe some some people will think like, oh, it's I will spend a lot of money or something like that. But but I think by by just there with a bunch of people of of the artists of good artists, my art hero. It's man, mm-hmm. man is is nothing. I mean, it's just like small, small thing. Mm. Uh huh. See, I see. And and from what I from what I understand as well from the chat that we, that we had yesterday, had yesterday you, actually you actually came into Lightbox, Lightbox Expo, Expo expecting, expecting to not get, not get a return, return in your, in your expenses. expenses. Yeah, I I mean when. I came to Lightbox. Uh, I already prepared some of my my thing, my prints, my book, just for mm. to give to people that I admire. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. So it's it's on on by on the budget. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's a form of my appreciation to to the artist as well. So when, you so when you are actually approaching some of these art heroes, art heroes that, you admire, that you admire, do you actually, do you actually have, have some of these same people recognizing you as well? Because you're because quite, quite a well-known a artist, artist yourself, Ko. I mean, a lot of people don't know me there. <laughs> I mean, yeah, maybe they know me after see my artwork. Oh, but not, oh, but not recognizing not reco- you as a person. Not maybe. recognizing me. It, it, it's as person because I, I because see. uh in my instagram i mean my wife helping me uh and mm. the always appear the woman girl hand so maybe mm. some people recognize <laughs> me as i did not notice yeah that. as as a girl that's why that's why when some people come in to my booth my wife always standing in, in the in the Oh, yeah, and they, and they think that she's yeah. Rudy Chirudi. Yeah, a lot of people think that she's Rudy Chirudi. Yeah. <laughs> That's really <laughs> That's funny, really funny yes. actually. Yeah, yeah. You would think that the name Rudy, Rudy would at least give it away that <laughs> it's a guy's <laughs> name, but <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did not even notice that it was Kat Jill's hand in the photos that you have. Yeah, it's... In on my Instagram, it's always like that because my wife helping me update mm. all my social media. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So she's, so she's not only, only your, your manager, manager, but also your, also social, your social media, media manager. manager as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, actually, I <laughs> that's really awesome. I learned a lot from from my wife about how to meet people, mm-hmm. even even mm-hmm. though even though we both cannot speak english like really like awesome mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. but what i i learned from my wife is like be honest be genuine mm-hmm. uh-huh. like uh thinking thinking about giving something something like small thing to people around her like mm-hmm. uh, for for the example like this before the event we bought something we bought bread in just in case like there is like a lot of people and we we cannot eat lunch yes we bought bread or water Mm -hmm. she always thinking about hey what about uh we we bought we buy more and we give to the to the person uh, beside our table 
Or maybe you give. That is extremely yeah. thoughtful. Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, if you want to make a friend, maybe we, we can. We shouldn't have to uh, think about like really big and grand thing. Maybe just small thing. Oh, definitely. Hmm. Small thing works. <laughs> I mean, so did you end, end up giving, giving some, of some of that bread to some? Of yeah, the yeah, my wife. That were near you. <laughs> my wife and oh, you were, oh, she. Did. Yeah, like that. So have you actually noticed that after, that after doing, doing those acts, acts of kindness to, to other have people, you have you noticed maybe some maybe of that some of that kindness being, being returned to you as well at these, at these events? I'm actually I'm I'm not thinking about that, but but yeah, they come to us at and mm -hmm. in the on next day, like even few of them give us give us something. I mean, oh, yeah, really? that is yeah, awesome. that's that's how friends happen. Mm. Uh -huh. I think what you're sharing with us right here is some. Advice, advice that, that I've never, never heard, heard of before. Of before. Usually, Usually when, when I listen to videos on networking, networking or maybe, or maybe even, even how to prepare, how to prepare for a convention or an, or an art event, a lot of the, lot of the things, that, things are that are shared is actually about more on the technical, more on the technical side, side of things. Of things. Um, and, um, and general, general advice, advice of, of you know just, you know, just picking, up, picking the up the courage to go up and talk to people. And all of that, and all is, that is great, and, great helpful, and helpful, but I've never, but I've had, never someone had someone speak about, speak about it in these sorts, sorts of terms, terms where, where it's about, about more about friends making friends and being kind to someone. Else. Yeah, I, I mean, at first, I think about all those things. I mean, oh, they will see my portfolio and then I get the feedback and something like that. It's a lot of about getting something. But yeah, actually, I learned a lot from, from, from my life. Oh yeah, you were, oh, yeah, you were talking about meeting Claire Wendling. Claire yeah. One of your art heroes. Yeah, Claire Wendling uh, is one of my art heroes. Actually, I found her artwork way back like 10 years ago i think mm -hmm. uh henry my friend caravan that day that time uh bought me a book bought me art book about claire wendling and then mm -hmm. in the lightbox expo i bring i bring the book just to get the sign but uh mm -hmm. at that time i also bought her new books and and also the original art mm -hmm. and Wow, the, the line lining is 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 so long because mm -hmm. because everyone wants to get a Claire Wendling book and uh, or uh, sketch because she she is really, <laughs> she is really nice. I mean, every book she make a sketch like really really mm -hmm. good sketch in every book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's that's crazy. I mean, and yeah, I, yeah, I can't imagine <laughs> yeah. doing that myself. I feel like I, feel like I would be ruining books the books that people would buy if I'm doing a sketch in it myself. Yeah, and and <laughs> and yeah, and when when it comes my turn, I mm -hmm. I tell the, I tell her that oh yeah, and I I've been following your art since since ten years ago, and. I I bring my first book, my uh, your my your first art book like that, and mm -hmm. she make two sketches for me, <laughs> one in in wow. my my old books and one in the newer book, and I I give her awesome. I give her my books and also my pins, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just for a gift. And, and I'm really happy. <laughs> and the, the crazy part is, uh, she actually noticed me from my Instagram. It's like, oh, you you are Ruthie really True. That is so awesome. It's it's like it's I cannot explain like the feeling that time, but I'm really happy about that. Were you speechless at that moment? Yeah. Like what? How did you actually respond to her? That's what I'm curious about. I'm I'm like standing a. a for a moment and mm -hmm. and and yeah I cannot I cannot say anything but but uh, just say how I'm I appreciate her artwork and how her artwork inspired me in my career 
like that. Did you actually have a chance to talk with her outside of the queue or the line? Sadly, it's it's not. I don't have a, a chance to to talk with her mm-hmm. because like so many people want to meet her. Even yeah. after after event, like there is a lot of people want to talk with her. Yeah, just by by uh, giving her my my art books and my gift, <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy. Mm-hmm. Just with just that. <laughs> So, so were there, were there other, other opportunities, opportunities or, or not opportunities, but situations where you, where you actually had to approach your art hero, your art hero outside, outside of a line, a line or, a queue or a queue to meet them? Oh yeah, on, on the last day, suddenly uh, Ian McCake appeared. Uh, mm-hmm. and <laughs> a wild Ian McCake yeah, appeared. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> out of nowhere like oh Ian McCake but a lot of people talking with, with him and yes. I run to my booth to <laughs> grab the to grab my art books and just give it give mm-hmm. it to him. I mean I don't want to disturb disturb him while talking with people but but I, see. It, I can't yeah. help. It can't help. I mean I just I just <laughs> give my, my book and Say my, my appreciation like that. Yeah. Did you did you stay, stay around to chat with him, with him after that, or did you actually just, just run, off. run off after that? No, because because it's, it, he is in the middle of chatting with with people. That's why after I give my book, I run away. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> the last last day, and and after the event, I think after the event close. Uh huh. One moment, just responding to something in the chat. But there, but are, there some are some questions that, that are being asked, asked right now, right now but we will leave them for the Q&A, for the Q&A session, session later on. on. So just so hold, just on, hold on to those questions, guys, guys and we will get to them later on. And Yuki, and Yuki said, said Koru be, be like, Senpai Daisy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, Give the book and run away. That's the exact feeling. <laughs> <laughs> That would be quite the sight mm-hmm. to behold, I think. Because it's, because so, it's hard so hard to imagine, imagine um, you you to doing that. doing that. <laughs> and and yeah, and some of some of them actually working like uh, in front of my our table, mm-hmm. like Aaron Blaze, like Ryan Lang, and suddenly I jump and ask him. <laughs> picture together like that yeah it's it's the fanboy mm-hmm. side yeah <laughs> i see so these, so are, these stories are stories of you actually, actually approaching other, other people but but do you have do you any, have any experiences, experiences of, other of other people actually, actually approaching you oh yeah it's some some people it's it was a surprisingly surprise though i mean I didn't expect like people. There is people following my art from a long time, and mm-hmm. yeah, there is like few people, few few students that following my art for a long time, and they are inspired <laughs> with with my artwork. I mean, that's I that's really uh how how to describe the, the feeling. It's it's awesome. Maybe humbling. As yeah, well. that's true, and. They are buying my stuff, and then they, they ask me like talk, talk a lot. I mean, as how how can I I be uh, that good? Even though I'm not that that good comparing <laughs> to, to the other artists. Right. I mean, they are asking like that. Mm. I really appreciate people oh, that definitely. that came to to our table and mm-hmm. asking, even though they. They're not all of them like buying my stuff. I mean, it's really humbling. You know, I actually managed to get a cop- copy of Gorudi's pip zine and one of his pins actually, because one of my friends from work, Rowena, who is also in the chat here as well, managed to uh, get one for me while she was over there. I can quickly run over and get it. So I can show you guys a little sneak sneak preview. So here it is. Here's my copy of the Pip Zine. 
also the also enamel, the enamel pin. pin. But check it but out, check guys. It out, guys. The, enamel the enamel pin actually, pin actually swings, swings from one side, one side to another. And I don't and think, I don't I'll, think ever I'll ever hang it on something just in, just in case it drops off. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, God, the sketches, sketches in, <laughs> in the pit scene are, are absolutely, absolutely amazing. amazing. Oh, thank you. I was just showing it to other people in the... In my, in my studio as well when I was there, there and they were, they were all just as, just as impressed as well so these are, so some, these are some of it as well guys so just a, so bit just a bit little bit of a teaser to show you guys, show you what, guys you're what you're missing out on, out on. <laughs> oh, thank you Jordan thank you the pin <laughs> is, is so actually, big though mm -hmm. oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> it's actually quite big, quite big. But, I but I would say it's really high quality pin so maybe this, so maybe would, this actually would actually lead on to uh, uh, to uh, for a good for a segue, good segue to, another to another topic, which is how do you, how do you actually go about, go about preparing, preparing for creating, creating merchandise, merchandise like, like this? Actually, is the process any different, any different from, from printing, printing normal just normal artwork? artwork? Actually, all of them. Uh, that's my my wife' idea for make, making set of prints, that like set oh, set of pins. Because my previous uh, idea is like making something art book, like story book, like that. Mm -hmm. It's like too too ambitious. And I she see. remind me about, hey, you uh, look at your your uh, personal artwork, like your mm -hmm. frog, your childhood week frog. It's really I can see that on that artwork, you 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 really having fun making it. That. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And what so, about making something like that? And then mm -hmm. ca comes the idea of making it to pins. Ah, uh -huh. I see. Just so it's just taking, taking maybe even a simple sketch, sketch like, like you're making, making mm -hmm. right now uh, in your post-it post notes and that. making that into something beyond that. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's, uh, if we think a lot about making the artwork, it's like, for me uh, at least, sometimes it's not turn out good <laughs> but but if if i'm not thinking about it like too much thing about mm -hmm. that when when making it sometimes it turn it mm. turn out good I see. Mm -hmm. yeah i think that, that is really advice, good advice actually, actually which is to make to make something, something that, that you, enjoy you enjoy doing and something that's fun, that's fun for you, for you. Mm -hmm. and in a way and in not, way not Doing something, doing something that requires, that requires you to take out, out so much of your time or effort to create as well. As well. So, maybe mm -hmm. so maybe even taking some of the older, older artworks that you have as well. Have as well. And, in and in your case, you took your old Inktober sketches, sketches and, and decided to compile them into magazine. magazine. Mm -hmm. And I think that is a really good idea to kind of just make the most out of what we already have rather than stressing out over an event. Yeah, yeah, that that's true. I mean, uh, it's it's good if uh, if you have planning. I mean, if you can realize uh, realize it and make it to a good product. I mean, if you could, it's good if you have planning like that. But it also have to be like realistic as well yeah yeah uh -huh. definitely mm -hmm. and i can speak, I can from, speak my from my own personal experience, experience as well from my, from my very first booth first and first only, and only booth mm -hmm. is that i actually was so over ambitious in trying to create new artwork that that I was so, so stressed, stressed out, out just before, just before the, convention the convention itself that, that it, almost it almost ended up, ended up not being, not fun, being fun for me. Yeah, and and that's happened to me when, when I'm mm. I'm preparing the light box, mm -hmm. and it's not good experience. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I suppose, so I suppose this, this is you learning, learning from your experiences, from your experiences and actually mm -hmm. trying trying to do something, do something different. Then. Yeah. Got and we've got a few comments as well, as well uh, in, the uh, in the chat, and I think, I think these mostly came from when I showed people your Pipsy, mm -hmm. and <laughs> Yuki, was, Yuki saying was saying you wanted it as well, well. As well. and Kaya was, was saying, oh my gosh, so cute, so cute. Froggy, froggy. And, <laughs> and that she also asked, also asked you that, you are you going, going to be joining Inktober this year? Crossfinger, I mean, I want to join if I have time. But maybe it's not, 
is not complete 30 days <laughs> i see yeah because I nowadays I, I have i have to travel travel a lot yeah i'm sure mm -hmm. i'm sure you have a lot of things on things on your plate right mm -hmm. now and hebron also, also said i remember that, that frog mecca and xylin <laughs> Also comments. also comments so to sum so up how to be, how a, to successful be a successful artist, artist. get a wife, get a wife like, like all Rudy's <laughs> what? okay <laughs> <laughs> I take that as compliment yes, <laughs> it, is, it, is, it is it is a compliment because she, because she seems, seems to be so supportive, so supportive, supportive of you Ko, and even, even in a way, in a way just pushing, pushing you beyond, beyond what you're comfortable, comfortable with but in a but good in way, a good way. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, they some people don't, don't believe this, but actually, my wife is the one who teach me draw in 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 the college. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually did not know that. Mm -hmm. So she is really good in watercolor that time, mm. and she teach me how to do watercolor, and then until I like doing f every illustration with watercolor. I am actually, actually going, going to be linking the link, the link to her, to her Instagram, Instagram in the chat. In the chat. Mm -hmm. So if you guys would like to follow her and show her some appreciation, <laughs> thank you guys. Please do so. I think she, I would, think also she would also really, really like that as well. And I've met, and I've met your wife, your wife mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. Gordy, and she is, she very, is very, a very, very lovely person. person. Yeah, I, I mean, very outgoing, very outgoing as well. well. I mean her energy. I I don't know where where she got she got that. I mean the the energy when when in the lightbox expo, she's really really excited. Like wow, and because she is really excited, I I became excited too. <laughs> uh -huh. That was really awesome. Uh -huh. So you're in a way, in a way just, just having some having some of her, of her energy bounce, energy bounce mm -hmm. off of you as well. Mm -hmm. Because because. You know when uh, I'm the type of guy that's like uh, assume a lot. I can I can say that. I mean before I'm uh, overthinking. Maybe? Yes, overthinking. Like okay, I want to approach Ryan Lang, but he is really busy uh, and just like over and over in in my head. Mm -hmm. So uh, until I, I I decided not to approach him like that but be yeah but because my my wife energy i i look at her like wow she, she cannot speak english like really well it's the same with me but yes. we just we just smile and right. and talk people i mean it it does not need skill to do that but it decision mm -hmm. it's more like decision yes uh -huh. i definitely can agree with that. Mm -hmm. Does she, Does she uh, has, uh, has she given you given some, you some or, maybe or maybe this is, this is uh, a, better a better question? What are some, what are some of the lessons that you have learned, learned from her in order, in order to, to be more, be more outgoing, outgoing or perhaps outgoing even conquering fears. your fears? Oh, it's uh, to go up to talk to people. I mean, if if and on that event, I can see because I rarely join my. So here's the thing, my wife often uh, join event like this, event yes. like Af AFA or Indo Comic Con or or the convention, anime convention in the in the Japan in Singapore yes. like that. But uh, I rarely join that, so I just know that how my wife uh, handle the event like this. I see. Uh -huh. And and yeah, it's part of it is like being honest. I mean, being genuine, like greeting people. I mean, I see. Uh, yeah. So in a, so way, in a way that you've you've, you've been actually been getting a master class, class on how to network. network well, well, or at least or at approach, least approach and, make and make friends with people mm -hmm. from your wife directly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That. I think that's really great. Yeah. We I think all we could all use could a use a friend like, like her, actually, mm -hmm. at these mm -hmm. events. Mm -hmm. You know what, you know what she, she should do, do? Rudy? Mm -hmm. She should, she should, should actually set up a business, a business where people, where people can, can hire her to go 
as as uh, someone uh, someone's manager, manager or maybe, or maybe even, even what do you call a wingman hmm <laughs> These at these of sorts events, of events, <laughs> where, she where she helps to introduce, to introduce you to other, to other artists, artists, and she gives, and she you, gives that you that energy to be extra, to be extra outgoing. outgoing. <laughs> yeah, really. I, think, I think she would be very rich very quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe maybe that's a good idea. <laughs> but I, I would definitely love to see. Uh, to, actually to actually join you guys sometimes, sometimes maybe at a convention mm-hmm. and see her in action, I think it would be mm-hmm. would be a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So you, so were, also you were also mentioning all of these, of these other, other events, events as well, such as AFA mm-hmm. and, and the ones Singapore, in Singapore, mm-hmm. as they get mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. something like that. So, so out of all, out of, your all of your experiences at a convention, at a convention how, would how would you say that the way that, the way you, that you approach it now is different from how you approached it back then? Oh, I I mean I I'm not the one who joining the event. I mean. So, but you've joined quite a few yourself, though, right? I just joined like SDGCC in, in Singapore uh, mm-hmm. for for selling my mix art book. Yes. I think just this Lightbox Expo is like my second or third event. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, there was. I think, I think there was one right, one right after, after the caravan, the caravan workshop, that's and that's when I bought, I bought oh, yeah. your mix art. Book yes. Yeah, that's the second one. I think Indonesia Comic Con or something like that. Is that true? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and actually, actually, no, that no, one, that was, one was, was a different one. one. So, I so I think you've been to you've two, been to other, two ones other ones that you've forgotten. Ah, oh, yeah, maybe I forgot. Okay. Yeah, but uh, but, uh, but it's totally different. That's, oh, oh. <laughs> so what? So are what are some of these differences then that, then that you've noticed because you've been to a few conventions, conventions from different countries? I I mean the behavior. I mean the purpose of the event is is different for for the event mm-hmm. like SDGCC and the other event. Uh, the focus is on selling. I don't know is, is that true or not, but but I feel like that. But on the Lightbox Expo, I think the focus is more mm-hmm. like getting know people. Right. It's like connection. It's like that. Mm-hmm. So which so one, which out, one of out of them would you say, would you say has been the best one so far? Uh, if if I can say it, it's like Lightbox Expo is the best one because Let's yeah see. because uh I this is my first event that all of them all of the exhibitor is artists. It's ah, a big artist. I mean, artists from mm-hmm. from the industry, from gaming, from animation industry, yes. like that. Whereas at Comic Con, sometimes you have people that are just normal, yeah, uh, convention goers. Mm-hmm. They're just going there as a visitor. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. If even the people that came came to the event, a lot of them are mm-hmm. artists. It's aspiring yes. artists or already. Uh, mm-hmm. professional artists i met a lot of professional mm-hmm. artists there so so are you are you hopeful that one day in indonesia, in indonesia we, will we will get an art, art event that's, that's just, yeah just as big, as big as lightbox, as lightbox. Hmm. yeah i i really really hope that there is an event like that in indonesia I yeah, that would be, that would be really, really awesome. Needed. Needed. Mm-hmm. I really think I really so. Think so. Mm-hmm. And, I and I think you can definitely play a large, large role in that, that Gorudi, where because you because you because, you, because, of, because of your connections, your connections in the industry, in the industry well. as well. And, and I think I think out, out of all the Indonesian artists that I know, you are one of the biggest names out there. There is so I think you would have a lot more pulling power and influence to bring a lot of the artists across the. Uh, the ocean, the ocean <laughs> to <laughs> attend a convention. convention in Indonesia. Yeah, if if there is one, I mean, I will try my best to contribute. Definitely. Yes, I would definitely look forward yeah. to joining an event mm-hmm. like that myself. If even you and Ken actually like you are already in the in the industry, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, mm, we can we all can can contribute to to that event to build. I mean to build the Indonesian artists. Oh, definitely. Mm-hmm. 
I am excited to see what the future holds for the Indonesian industry for sure. Mm-hmm. We have and we have some comments as well in the chat. There's, there's it's actually mostly, mostly questions, questions, so we will still leave that to the end. Mm-hmm. And we will, and we will get to a Q and A session, session very soon, guys. guys. And Sesame, Sesame lettuce, lettuce also comments. Jordan, Jordan, just an idea. Would you please, would you please invite? invite uh, uh Kajio, Kajio to be, to be future, guest future guest for the podcast. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Oh, that that, that, would, that be would be a good idea. A great idea. Uh-huh. I, think so. I think so. What we can, what we can do actually is just have, have you both and you and Kajio on, on as well. I think, I think it'll be really cool to, cool see, to the see the dynamics, dynamics between the both of you as well. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, maybe we can talk about that. Oh, definitely. There's just, There's so, just many so many other topics we can cover about, but it's, but it's really, it's really I think, interesting to hear, to hear the ex- your, experience your experience at this Lightbox, at this Lightbox event, just, uh, just because I think you, I think you have the best, best of both worlds, worlds in the sense that, that you, you were, were able, able to meet a lot of heroes, art heroes, art heroes of, your of your own, and, uh, and at the same time, time you are the art heroes for some, for some people as well. As well. So, you've so you've had a good mix, good mix of, people. of people approaching you and a good mix of you approaching people as well. We really apologize for that, guys. I know that there's been a lot of technical issues and it seems that Ken's internet is also not coming back on. So we're going to be finishing off the rest of the podcast without him. And we promise you to do our best to look into these issues so that future podcasts will not experience these again. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So as we were saying before, what is the advice or some of the key advices that you can give to other people that want to make the most out of their art event experiences? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, some, some of it, uh, I think the main the main uh, key is like being nice and then mm-hmm. and then what I learned is like lower your expectation because mm-hmm. we, we don't know like the artist that we approach still in the middle of, of something or they have mm-hmm. they have uh, something to do so it feels like oh they're ignoring us Maybe we can lower lower our expectation a little bit, and then yeah, it's it's more like being polite, give an introduction. Mm-hmm. It's about who you are. I mean, don't suddenly jump to showing your artwork like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's like building yeah. building a friendship. Mm-hmm. Mm. I can agree with that. I do think that there that is mm-hmm. quite revolutionary advice in a way compared to mm-hmm. the advice of just going to these events just to network. Yeah. But instead for you, it is about making friends. And I think both you and Kajil really show that it can make a difference, mm-hmm. not only for the interactions that you have, but also helping other people's experiences at the event become a lot more enjoyable and memorable for them as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's fantastic advice. Thank you very much. And and we will actually move on to a Q&A session. So I will read out some of the questions that we have been getting throughout the chat and we will do our best to get through them. But if any of you also have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the chat as well. And this is the first question that we've got gotten from MD Bakhtiar and it's in Indonesian. And it says, Korudi, sekarang banyak artis yang bermasalah sama kesehatan mental, like depressed. Apa Korudi pernah mengalami hal seperti itu? Wait, uh, sorry to interrupt, Ko, but I think let's also give a quick translation for the people that don't speak Indonesian. Mm. So, the question says, Korudi, now a lot of artists are experiencing mental health issues such as depression. Have you experienced something like this before? Mm-hmm. Luckily, I'm, I'm, I've never been in in that situation in that situation 
like the fresh mm-hmm. depression and stuff but i think yeah that's that's a uh, ser- serious thing that happening now i mean i can i cannot uh talk a lot about that but uh mm-hmm. it's more important to to know yourself mm-hmm. i think that's the thing that a lot of it's not just an artist i mean as as human being we need to know ourselves first uh-huh. so so are there some things that you personally do go to or like what maybe do you personally yes do? maybe it's not depressed i'm sometimes i'm stressed mm-hmm. i'm to i'm burned out because i i do a lot of work but what i do is mm-hmm. like making something that comfortable to me and easily to accomplish like this small thing mm-hmm. it's like really easy to accomplish so we mm-hmm. need the, the sense mm-hmm. of a uh, sense of uh, uh, achievement i mean I yes see. sometimes for for me the case is like oh i rarely draw now and then when i jump to serious drawing or i want to make a painting uh mm-hmm. it didn't turn out good and it stressed me out so i go back to the thing drawing thing that i'm really comfortable and and easily to accomplish like like the one that i post in my instagram lately mm-hmm. the frog it's it's like really <laughs> really i really enjoy doing that yes. and it it doesn't need like much time maybe one or two hours to to complete to mm-hmm. complete that but i i have the sense of achievement i after i finish that mm-hmm. and it motivate me to do more something like that i see mm-hmm. so in a way that you want to give yourself these small victories just to remind yourself perhaps yeah. that of why you did art in the first place and the mm-hmm. simple joys that you've had yeah but from doing that but again i mean the depression thing it's the definition is really really wide mm. and i i mm. uh i cannot i it's, it's mm. every people is different definitely but, but know yourself it's part of 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 how to overcome it yeah, mm, for for yeah. some people yeah that's... for some people maybe oh if, if i'm i feel a little bit stressed uh i play games for for a little while it's fine mm. yeah, yeah i think that's definitely yeah. important to know yourself mm. and yeah, what helps you to stay motivated mm-hmm. and perhaps even to remind you that there's other mm-hmm. things in life that are worth mm-hmm. living for mm-hmm. okay so there's also other questions as well there's one from Heb- hebron mm-hmm. it says kochrut any tips outside preparing your portfolios to work in a big studio prepare your portfolio oh it's yeah it's it's more about show your your voice of course mm-hmm. Of course you have to know the craft thing but it more like show show your voice show what you want I mean if you want to get position as concept artist environment concept artist to be specific you have mm-hmm. to really focus on that and make the artwork like make a portfolio around that around that area i mean yes you can add a little bit like oh yeah i i can draw a concept for a robot or character design but we we can arrange like the environment concept is the main my main thing you have to show it that mm-hmm. and also it's important to when you preparing the work is you show the work that you really love and want to get hired uh-huh. for right? yes imagine that you will hire to 
do that work on your portfolio will you enjoy it or I not think, like that mm-hmm. uh-huh. yeah i think i think it's definitely simple advice but it makes sense because some people def try to do so many things that they think the co- industry expects from them that they in a way forget about their inner voice or what they really enjoy doing yeah definitely and this actually might tie in quite nicely into one of the questions that Thea has she asked quite a few and this question is and do you have any storytelling tips when designing splashes so maybe we can transform this into a question of what are your tips for injecting storytelling into images because your images are really rich in that hmm yeah uh actually it's it's for me it's quite hard to 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 explain but uh for you for for splash like like riot splash is that mm-hmm. the question it's for splash but maybe we can make it into something more general so it's more about how to inject storytelling into our pieces in general because there's some artists here that don't do splashes so i think it would be good to make this question apply to everyone here in the chat i usually do is uh think about the scene not think about the just only the mm-hmm. illustration but i imagine it as like movie scene mm-hmm. uh-huh and and i'm trying to capture part of that scene so imagine not only only uh visualize what in the in the inside the frame but how to how uh the audience can also imagine what happened outside the frame Mm, I see. Mm-hmm. So, like the wider context and yeah. the wider world. Uh, yeah, I think. I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's quite explaining or not, but, but yeah, mm. I. That's uh, the main thing that, that I always think about when I'm working, on illustration. I think this is something that definitely can be gone to very in depth, mm-hmm. um, because it's a big topic for sure. And maybe it can be something done over a future podcast episode again, because it seems like a lot of people have a lot more questions to ask you. And yeah, how many of you guys in this chat have really enjoyed what Gorudi has had to share so far? Because I certainly have. A lot of the things that he was talking about is quite different from how I usually would approach conventions. So hearing his side of things and his experiences has been quite inspiring. And of course, you know, Arakorudi to me is one of my art heroes as well. So to have him on the podcast is a really big honor for me as well. Oh man, thank you very much, Jordan, for uh, inviting me in this podcast. Because this this is this is the the first podcast that I'm talking with English. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, and you did perfectly fine because at first we were trying to do the podcast maybe with a mix of Indonesian, but you speak perfectly fine English, and I'm sure that no one in the audience is having trouble understanding you either. Oh man, thank you, thank you very much. We actually have a lot more questions, mm-hmm. but unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get through all of them. Mm-hmm. But this could make a final interesting question for you before we move on to the final segment, which is the quick fire session. Mm-hmm. And this question is from Bukan Dewa, and it says, Mas Rudi, Mas Rudi kan portfolionya banyak gambar binatang. Kalau boleh tahu, pernah ditanya komisi gambar furry? Okay. So the question uh-huh. is, uh, Rudi draws a lot of creatures, so. Has he ever been commissioned to draw a furry before? Furry, but oh, what is furry? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like those anthropomorphic creatures. Oh, actually, I'm I never been I never received request commission like like that. Uh, <laughs> I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, All yeah. Right. We uh, don't have to answer too much yeah. beyond that. Uh-huh. 
and we can actually just move on to the final segment which is the quick fire session so this is the segment of the podcast where we just ask you 10 quick questions and we would like you to respond to them as fast as possible all right okay okay so here we go so just without thinking about it too much just say the first thing that comes to your mind Mm -hmm. okay so the first question is favorite animal frog okay two favorite game of all time final fantasy seven fantastic three would you rather give up bathing for a month or give up the internet for a month Uh, i think i think i just give up internet (laughs) i see four if you could live in any time period in history what would it be i'm sorry what what question again if you could live in any time period in history what would it be uh now (laughs) okay well fair enough Uh all right next question favorite food favorite food soto it's local soto (laughs) yeah what kind of soto uh i I can say soto madura you know okay (laughs) yeah Okay, next question. Would you rather wash all of your dishes using your tongue or wash your pets using your tongue? Oh, it's a difficult question. The second one. <laughs> Just go with your... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, next question. Would you rather be raised by wolves or by monkeys? Wolf. Okay. Next question. If you were not an artist, what would your dream career be? Hmm. Sculpting? Sculpture? It's, it's not this as well. Sculpture. Is it nothing? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe animal trainer? <laughs> okay, that I think would be quite fitting. Next question. Would you rather lose your sense of taste or your sense of hearing? Sense of taste. Okay. And last question. Would you rather be rich but never do personal work again or do personal work but struggle financially? The second one. <laughs> <laughs> that is really interesting answer. Okay, and that actually does wrap up the quick fire session. And I know that we initially planned to do artwork of the week segment with you as well. But I think due to some of the technical issues, I'd rather not risk playing around with Lightstream Studio right now. And that would actually bring us to the end of the podcast already. So once again, thank you so much, Ko, for being on the podcast and for everyone for being so patient to all you people that are watching right now. Thank you so much for sticking through. And I know that the technical issues have been very frustrating to deal with and it has been the same for us. And we apologize for that. And we're going to make sure that the future broadcasts will not go through the same thing as well yeah me too i mean thank you very much for inviting me to the podcast and also for for the uh, all of you guys that joining the podcast until in the end of the show thank you very much definitely and one last thing before that we would like to see the sketches that you've been doing on your post-it notes no it's it's not a lot i mean it's like like this <laughs> something like this this is this is the i don't know <laughs> bring it closer Cole. oh that's so awesome <laughs> yeah it's not like this this is the first cat <laughs> <laughs> that is great not like simple thing like this hey i really like them um, like this <laughs> How many of you guys in the chat also <laughs> really like these sketches as well? Because I sure am. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's- <laughs> well, thank you so much for showing it. And of course, um, you guys can um, catch this episode later on or the replay of it on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube to watch that and all of our previous episodes and to follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well for updates on future podcast sessions. And we also have a Facebook group for our community, which you can join. 
in the link in the chat which i will paste right now so that will be the place that you guys can post works for future feedback sessions mm -hmm. or even just to showcase to other people in the group as well and yes that would wrap up today's podcast okay. it's been quite a long one but thank you so much guys and once again to call rudy for being yeah on the podcast. thank you you're welcome and be sure to follow him as well on social media too mm. if you haven't done that you definitely don't want to miss out on what he has in store okay and that will be it so we will see you guys on the next drawing table podcast mm -hmm. episode and hopefully we can have Gorudi back in the future as well yeah that that will be fine <laughs> all right mm -hmm. awesome all right thank you so much everyone Take care and we'll see you next time.